Let's add custom enchantments to Minecraft. Forging fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and three armor models linked in the description below. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom enchantments to Minecraft, or rather one custom enchantment, and for that we'll need a new custom package right here called the enchantment package. Make sure that we write this correctly. It's not necessary, but you know, I just try to have it written correctly. Instead of there, we're going to make two new Java classes. One of them is the mod enchantments class, and the other one is the actual enchantment class. So this is going to be called the lightning striker enchantment. There you go. And they're actually snuck in a little bit of a, an arrow. So what you can do is you can click on this if you write anything incorrectly and then press shift F6 to then change this. So this is the enchant meant there you go and that should be fine now this one this class will extend the enchantment class right here and then we'll hover over this and create constructor matching super making sure that we change this constructor to public and then we also change this from a an actual array here to dot 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 this just means that we can basically pass in as many equipment slots that we want and it's going to convert them automatically to a, an, an array basically now in the enchantment class, we can actually middle mouse button click and we can see a lot of stuff that we can override right here. You can see there's quite a bit of stuff in here. Highly recommend on your own time just checking a little bit of this out, trying out a bunch of stuff. And then also you can always check the enchantments as well. If I click on this control H, then I can see all of the different vanilla enchantments that are available. So you can basically take a look at those as well. And we'll just see and figure out how those work and model your enchantment after those as well. Uh, for our case, we're actually going to overwrite the get max level method because this is actually important because this will generate how many books there are going to be. And for our purposes, we're going to make two levels. So this is going to be Lightning Striker 1 and Lightning Striker 2. And then for the functionality, what we're going to do is we're going to overwrite the on target damage method. So this is called when you damage a target with this enchantment on a certain item, basically. That's the general idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the following. So we're going to check first of all if user.world that is a client and a very important we have this exclamation mark here meaning that we're negating whether or not we're on the client meaning we want to be on the server this is very important this is a an error i see all the time right people just forget the uh, uh, exclamation mark this is actually very important in this case because we only want to be on the server because we're going to be spawning a lightning bolt and a lightning bolt you only want to spawn on the server so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually say server world called world equal to and then we're just going to say user dot world and then we're going to actually cast this so the way that we're going to cast this is we're just going to add server world at the front here so server world there you go making sure we write this correctly there you go and then it's going to cast this world a variable into a server world now this of course once again only works because we've checked before if we're on the server then we also want the block position of the actual target so this is just going to be position equal to target dot get block pause there you go and now we're ready to implement this so we're also getting passed in at the level here as a parameter so this is the level of the enchantment so what we can do is we can just say if level is equal to one then what we're going to do is we're going to spawn one enchantment so to the way to actually get this enchantment is to do entity type dot lightning bolt dot spawn and then passing in the world then we're going to pass in null null and null so three times null then the position and then we're going to have a spawn reason. This is going to be triggered in this case. And then we're going to do true and true. And then we have this spawned. In this way, by the way, you can spawn any type of entity that you want. So in theory, if I, you know, I can change this. You can see there's all types of entities in here. So you could also, for example, add a fireball. You can even do a sheep. So you could, in theory, do something like a sheep striker enchantment or a pig striker enchantment so that you spawn pigs when you strike an enemy. I mean, wouldn't really do anything other than spawn a pig, but you know, it, you could, in theory, do this as well. So that's really funny. So then let's actually just copy this over. So I just selected control C and then control V to paste it in. I'm going to change this to level equal to two. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to basically spawn two lightnings. So that's pretty much the entire class actually done. This is all of the functionality. Like I said, you can very easily click on here, press Control H and see the functionality of the uh, different vanilla enchantments here. 
and hopefully there's going to be something in there that is similar to the enchantment that you want. That is basically it. So then let's go to the mod enchantments class and let's actually register the enchantments. So for this, what we're going to need is first of all a public static void, and this is going to be the register mod enchantments uh, method right here. And this is once again just going to do system out print line registering enchantments for, and then we're just going to do tutorial mod at mod ID. So that we actually register this class properly and then we're going to do a private static enchantment enchantment there you go and this is just the register method so we write this correctly as well and this is going to have a string parameter called name and of course an enchantment parameter called enchantment and this is going to return the registry dot register registry dot enchantment and then a new identifier we've seen this plenty of times now mod ID passing in the name, and then after the first parentheses, we want to write enchantment. So this is the register method done, and now we can register our custom enchantment. So we're going to say public static enchantment called lightning underscore striker, which is equal to the register method that we've just created. The first parameter lightning underscore striker, and then the second parameter is a new lightning striker enchantment right here. This is the class that we've just created. Then we pass in the enchantment rarity, let's say uncommon. And then we're going to say enchantment target is going to be a weapon. And then the equipment slot is going to be main hand. So let's just format this a little bit differently. There you go. So that we can see everything nicely. And that is pretty much all that we need to do right here. Now we just need to call this register mod enchantments method in the in your main class in the uninitialized method. So mod enchantments dot register mod enchantments. That's very important. And then last but not least, we also want to add a translation in the en underscore us JSON file. And that's going to look like this. So let's just go at the very bottom here. So this is going to be enchantment.mc course. That's not right. Tutorial mod. There you go. And then we have the under lightning underscore striker. So this is then going to be the name of the book. And also what you're going to have when you hover over a, you know, an item that has this enchantment, you're going to see lightning striker. And the one and two for the levels are going to be added automatically. So you actually don't need to even do anything here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that we need to do. And that is actually all of the steps that we need to take to add this custom enchantment to Minecraft. So let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. And there you go. The enchanted books are here. So I can actually search for them. Lightning Striker. And you can see both of the books are there. So let's just add the actual enchantment to a sword right here. There you go, Lightning Striker 1 and a Lightning Striker 2. And then let's just spawn in a bunch of, well, let's just spawn in a bunch of sheep. Why not? And we'll see what we can do here. So let's just spawn the sheep. And once I hit them, you can see, there you go, a Lightning is basically going to, well, spawn. And let's then add a sheep and let's see the Lightning Striker 2. And that's going to add two Lightnings. Now, it's not going to be too noticeable, but it is still pretty freaking cool. So you can see the actual enchantment working perfectly fine. And if you are on in survival mode, then, my, you know, it might actually hit, hit you as well. So, you know, be wary of that. But, you know, it's just a demonstration on how you can add enchantments, basically. It's not necessarily, you know, the best enchantment, but it is an enchantment that is pretty freaking cool nonetheless. Right, that is how easy it is to add custom enchantments to Minecraft. And that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.